This is Dr. Karthikeyan, Microsurgical Andrologist, Apollo Fertility, Chennai. In this video, we are going to see about what is a varicocele and how does it affect sperms. So, in male infertility, there are multiple causes for low sperm count and varicocele is one of the important and correctable causes for male infertility with low sperm count. In the human body, the testis lies outside the human body in the scrotum. So, the scrotum is designed to hold the testis and this testis outside the human body has 2 to 3 degree lesser temperature than the core body temperature. Second thing we have to understand is, there is a vein that is a blood vessel which drains the blood from the testis to the heart. Usually blood flows from the testis to the heart but in varicocele because of the problem inside the vein the blood flows in a backward direction. So as I told the testis is designed to be inside the scrotum to be at a cooler temperature but when there is a reverse direction of blood flowing into the testis the heat around the testis increases. This produces a damage to the testis eventually leading to damage in the sperm, number, motility and also the sperm DNA content. So, whenever we encounter with a varicocele in a patient, if there is low sperm count, we do basic evaluation, clinical examination, hormones, plus minus and ultrasound scrotum to categorize the varicocele. Once we are sure that this varicocele is causing a problem of low sperm count, or a problem in the quality of the sperm that is either the motility, the morphology or even sometimes in special tests we identify that varicocele is causing a problem then we can do a corrective operation. In the modern world microsurgical varicocelectomy is the best possible treatment for a varicocele. Microsurgical varicocelectomy is a specialized operation which is done by using the operating microscope. By using the operatic microscope, we can identify clearly the artery that is the blood which supplies blood from the heart to the testis that is the blood vessel which has to be preserved and also the vas deferens which is the tube which carries the sperms from the testis to the semen. So these two important structures are to be preserved and the vein has to be divided that is they have to be removed and we also use a intraoperative Doppler that is the ultrasound which is used during the surgery to identify and preserve the testicular artery. In this surgery, the recurrence rate that is the failure of the operation is the least and success rates are good. It can be done as a daycare procedure and you can resume work within 2 to 3 days. Even on the second day, you can go to work but you have to avoid strenuous activity maybe for 1, to one week to 10 days. So, this is a simple operation which can be done with expertise and can lead to good results. Even in men with low sperm counts, after varicocele surgery, there is a chance for normal conception in specialized, that is uh, particular cases we can assess preoperatively and we can tell them that there is a possibility of natural conception. So whenever there is a varicocele, we have to do the correct tests and decide if this varicocele is causing infertility and it can be corrected by a special procedure called microsurgical varicocelectomy. Thank you.